I'm Paul Benassi. I'm the general manager of the Heartland Petrochemical Complex. We've been going on this job for about a year since sanctioning and uh, we're still on budget, on schedule. Quality is very high. Some of the key milestones that I'm very proud of that we achieved this year is we reached a one billion incurred spend mark. Uh, we also, project to date, have achieved the three million hour mark. This year on site, I mean, we made some really tremendous progress. We just sanctioned at the end of 2017 and at that time, at the beginning of the year, you know, this site was really just a flat, graded area. Uh, there was some work that went on underground, but really not much progress being made above ground. And since we sanctioned it in one year, if you take a look behind me at the job site, I mean, just, we've got work going on on every square inch of this job site. Uh, you know, we've got now over 550 craft working on this site, and it's just tremendous progress being made. This year on PDH, I mean, we really got going, uh, not just on site as you can see, but we had a lot of off site fabrication that we've, uh, we've executed. Uh, we've got Wayward doing our steel, materials flowing very well. Uh, Keywood has done our uh, pipe spooling program uh, with them as well as some of their subcontractors. And that program's going very well, which is then feeding into the module program, which is also being done by Keywood. So, you know, this year we've got over 60 modules that are in some stage of construction. Uh, We've got a few that have arrived at site and we've actually set some down on the job site. So just all around, even off site, we've got significant work going on. On the job site itself, uh, you know, Kiewit's doing a really good job. Uh, this year was a big year for them. Uh, they completed all their piles. Concrete, they achieved, uh, I believe over 90% of their concrete has been poured this year. Uh, and as you can see behind me, they're really going vertical. They're setting a lot of steel. I think they got over 240 metric tons of steel erected already. And, you can see we're changing the skyline, so it's pretty exciting to go vertical on that plant. Uh, we've also got a lot of occupied buildings here on, on site. Uh, we've got several permanent buildings that we're going to be constructing. We're using the services of Graham Construction for that. This year we completed detail engineering on that. Graham's got all their piles in place, foundations starting to be poured, and we're also starting assembly of the actual buildings themselves. And if you took a look, there's, uh, we've got walls going up for our laboratory buildings, our administration building, as well as our control room. The big focus this year on the polypropylene project was our civil works program. Uh, this year we, we utilized uh, Browns as our construction contractor for that and they came in and we finished the rough grading of the site and we also got all our deep undergrounds in place. We also completed the piling for our reactors and uh, as well as the foundation for that work as well. We've got several large vessels on this site and the two most notable that, that we talk about is the PP splitter that is actually for the PDH project as well as the reactor which is for the polypropylene plant. Those vessels are both being fabricated here in Alberta using Sesco and Dacro. Uh, to get those vessels to site, uh, we undertook uh, almost a project within a project. Uh, we've been working on this for uh, about two years now. Our IPL owners team, as well as with our engineering contractors, Fleur and Lindy, and as well with Mammut and Alberta Transport, uh, just significant effort that has been made to actually make the route safe for these vessels to be transported to site. Mammut's a fantastic contractor. I mean, if you take a look behind us, I mean, you can see this monstrous crane getting set up. I mean, they got world-class equipment that can do the job. We are gonna be working with over 150 different Alberta-based companies on this project, and it's just something we're, we're pretty proud. I mean, we're building this in Alberta's backyard, and it makes sense to try and keep as much as that work in Alberta. We made a lot of progress here in the field in 2018, but the thing we're most proud of is, is the development of our HPC safety culture. And we've, we've started our HPC safety leadership program, and we're taking that as well as our contractor safety programs, which are excellent. And we're kind of picking the best bits of all of that and putting it together to help us develop our safety culture. And that took significant effort this year, and I'm very proud of it because it's reflected in our, in our safety performance this year, which is, which is excellent. I'm a native Albertan. Uh, I grew up probably about 40 kilometers from this site. And, and for me to do this in my own backyard and, and to be part of this, honestly, it is an honor. You know, I, I talk to my family and friends and, and people who want to listen about what we're doing here in Alberta and when we can put people back to work again and to just contribute to this economy, I mean, it's just a huge sense of pride on not just myself, I see it in kind of everybody that works on this project. It's, it's awesome what we're doing here.